bag. He made it. All the way up here on his bike. Little 90. Winter element. Nice, really. Excellent. Yeah. A little better mileage than the quad, probably, too. 100 miles per gallon. Wow, cool. Yeah. So was it pretty rough in spots? Or? Yeah, pretty bumpy. Pretty slippery. Do you have to get off at all? No, but I got the studded tires, which help. And, you know, uh -huh. have my feet kind of ready to be... If I go right in the rut in the bottom, then I don't, then I won't slide sideways, which that's the scary part. Mm -hmm. And then you saw those kids on regular bikes, and it's like I'm not giving up. <laughs> that was crazy. Anytime on two wheels, yeah, that's it's uh, four wheelers are definitely better for yeah. commuting up here. This mm -hmm. is sort of like if you want to try to break your ankle. Uh huh. Might want to bring up a scooter <laughs> now and then. <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff up here. Yeah, he's got a lot of logs all ready to ready to rock here. Mm -hmm. See, that's like a plate log here. Yeah. Yeah, that was long enough. Oh, it is right. Yeah. It seems really. It seems like it is. So yeah. Come up with. There's one. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't realizing that uh, that other plate log was sure. his too. Which is a bummer. It is a bummer. It does definitely uh. change things. Yeah. Well, I guess father was trying to keep the logs manageable size for himself yeah. when he was slapping this thing together. But it seems like, like more shrinkage occurred there or something. And I mean, the fact that it rotted, mm -hmm. um, but you look at you know, like this, these are skinny, but they still look good. You know, mm -hmm. they're, supported. they're not rotted. Well, we got the one. Is what... Yeah, the one. Is... Yeah, so we got Same. one, so we're going to need another. Yeah, okay, I can get that. Um... Well, we don't have to mill it as pretty as that one, but... Do you like uh, our tent, Jasmine? Is Orville... He's gone, right? Yeah, he's gone. So but, I mean, we can just... I mean, yeah, it doesn't... You can either use a chainsaw or... or yeah, it doesn't have to be as pretty, you know? As long as it's strong. I don't know. It's not bronze. So you want to do that first, then take that side off. Uh, no, I think maybe that one first because it's already it's kind of a danger. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Start over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna save this stuff this on this side. Oh, for sure. Right. Oh yeah. Cause that's new stuff. Yeah, take nail pullers yeah. and just carefully, you know, take it apart. Yeah. I just hate taking stuff, man. It's I know. Such a... I know, but it's. Looking at it, it's just like I think in the long run, in the long run, for insurance, it's going to be. Yeah. Get this stove out and get it curing. I think we ought to do some uh, timber timber locks on the middle support. Let's check the real bouncy, the bouncy bouncies and see uh, if we can shim them and timber lock them. Make them a little better. I think we might be able to raise the center joist. Oh yeah, I thought we had raised it all the way up to its, to its max. Yep, yeah. we can definitely raise the joist. Oh, well let's try to start with that then. There might be some pipe size.
I'm not sure how much more you got. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you told me the other day that it was raised all the way up. I mean, you and could that's do... why you added that board underneath. Well, no, I, I raised it that I added the board so that it would protrude from the sides of the holders. Oh, yeah. And what you could do, stick another one in there at some point. I think for now we should just add another board. Last front. Yeah, we're thinking about little shims under there and then just put her. Spots that are certainly not carrying the load. Yeah, I think these need to be lower, so therefore I think we should at least put chimps here or another board. Jeez, there's a lot of parts on this. Yeah, it's definitely another two by this thing. Yeah, a chunk of it, like a footer. Oh, that's the hand. That's the... Then that would give you. Well, you gotta. I was doing my freaking mill last night. Yeah. Instructions? Yeah, it does have good instructions. I think I'm gonna need to get more pipe. I don't think this is gonna be tall enough. I can always raise the stove too, but I mean, just plain three inch pipe like this, I might have to order it. Yeah, you might anyway. be able to call that firewood place. And I've got like a three foot section. Um, just depends on how tall the legs are. You could put it up on a uh, wooden box to get it, which might be nice to get it up where it's easier to feed. Yeah, it would be you nice know, to raise it close. probably. It might be close. Uh, let's go like this somehow. They're what they call nesting, so they have to go in a certain order. Oh, they get. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what They get smaller as they go up. Oh, wow. So they supposedly have them marked. Oh, yeah. Let's see. This is one. Really? No. Jack is working on making our platform sturdier and less bouncy in the middle where the boards are irregular. And I got our little tent stove put together. And before you put a tent stove or any new stove actually in your dwelling and have a fire, you have to burn it for a couple hours to burn off all the paint and the chemicals and it puts off fumes for a while. So I just stuck it there in my little fire pit, got it all put together and I'm about to fire that up. Jack's going back under. And I'm going to start that stove.
going so it can cure, as they say. And there's no mystery as to why I picked this particular stove. Because it's got a fireplace front. I even want a fireplace front in my little tent stove. So this is going to be cute. It's got the side racks for keeping things warm. It's got the top plate you can lift off. Unfortunately, I did manage to lose the nut for uh, putting the handle on, so I'm going to have to replace that. It's so tiny. It ran away somewhere in the process of putting this thing together. But that's no big deal. And we're just curing it right now, so I just set it in the fire pit. And, yeah, it's going to be great. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, well, I found that nut, but I didn't find the, I mean, I found the bolt, but I didn't find the nut, so I'm going to have to replace that at least. Yeah, but that should be No big deal. Easy. The tiny little one. Yeah. This is going to be stinky for a while. Yeah. I guess I'm going to mosey back. Okay, good luck. Yeah. So many fish. Yeah, thanks so much for, yeah, it's fun to be up here. It's fun, a nice little canoe ride. Gorgeous out. Okay, we just put in place the uh, heavy plastic flooring that comes with the tent. Um, it's a very durable kind of, you know, thick plastic. Help keep the moisture, the bugs, all that stuff out. However, obviously, it is aesthetically impossible. It's a very difficult green. So we're about to put down some lovely flooring and it's a big moment oh hello <laughs> back half with the beige one. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We could have the entire floor covered. Yeah. This is the higher, this is like the living room area. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then put the beige one there so it'll be nice. under the bed and yeah, okay. That's pretty fabulous, huh? Boy, isn't that pretty. Nice bright blue, loving it. Plus the fact that it's something that my sister needed to get rid of anyway. It's a win-win-win. Loving it. Let's look out the window, shall we? Oh, lovely day. And now, I'm going to unveil our double-decker queen-size air mattress. Jack is going to fire up the generator. I'm going to blow this puppy up. Choosing air mattresses is really hard because, you know, some of them just suck. And I wanted something that was going to be comfortable enough for us. Um, but I didn't want to get anything permanent because whatever we have in this tent, we're going to have to pack up and store somewhere this winter. So I figured a really good air mattress would be the best bet. And I'm just hoping it's a really good one. It's an Englander. I heard that's a good brand from across the pond. Oh, I don't know. Say. Oh, it's got a it's got a lovely bag. Oh. And my sister got me a lovely little Swiss Army knife for my birthday. It's already coming in so handy. And I keep it in my pocket, so it's handy. Don't bump the camera, I'm recording. Oh, won't. <laughs> oh, the built the ship that day, the blue sail, the ocean blue. Don't think how to ship that the water would never go through. <laughs> uh, let's... Oh, I met this one. Hi. 
land, this land is your land, this <laughs> land is my land, from California. <laughs> All right, well, this is a really uh, sleek and sexy looking air bed. Black and shiny. You ready to fire it up? Yep. Um, Should we get the extension? You must read instructions, so I'm going to turn off the camera and read the instructions. Boring. Boring. Okay, plated our awesome air bed mattress. Laid down on it, feels like it's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna make this a BB and charge $500 a night. up, packing up, go back to town tonight, and then uh, Jack has a lesson to give in the morning, and hopefully by early to mid-afternoon we'll head back out here and spend the night for the first time in our fabulous wall tent. Very exciting. Just going to leave the stove sitting here tonight, probably cure it a little bit more, start firing it again tomorrow and let it cool off again out now so we'll just leave it that way yep it's good